the floor. singing to her music. Look at that face. All painted up and a lot of places to go. Big, big woman. But look at uh, Sheila Fox saying, get in here. I'm ready to tackle you. Yeah, Sheila Fox is from Australia. Crocodile Dundee territory. Look at this. Uh, God like thinks she goes walks right over the top rope. I know, of she's quick and she looks strong and she's quick, but uh, I don't know. Uh, see what she has. Six foot four, 238 pounds. I mean, that's a big, big woman. On the other hand, you know, you look at Sheila Fox, five foot four, 120 pounds. Sheila just looked over and went, oh no, look at that face. <laughs> She's going, oh my, my. <laughs> Marona. <laughs> Marona mia. Sheila Fox is looking at her and saying, my goodness, I didn't realize she was that big. <laughs> You know, uh, last week we had a little trouble with the Paradise, Cindy Paradise and Penelope Paradise. So we're going to have the Battle of the Paradise following this one because there was a little conflict on music and a little argument. So huh. they've scheduled a grudge match, time permitting. Anyway, this is Cadillac Pink against Sheila Fox. The Fox trying to climb the mountain. Oh, let's see now. Wow, well, she's using her size and strength. She says, look at that. I mean, Fox looked right up on her. It was like a nothing. You know, it was like a like a little mosquito trying to knock uh, you know, uh, an elephant down. Yeah. Well, you know, Bruno, it's such a thing as a bad night, and uh, maybe the last time we saw Cadillac Prince, she just quit and walked out and said, "I have had enough." Well, she got angry and yeah. uh, she went after someone, and, uh, and to, you know, she you can do that. You first have to get the job done in the ring. Now look at this. Here's uh, this uh, Sheila Fox. Oh, see that? Just shoved it right off like nothing. See, she's using her size and her strength this time. That's what you got to do. Right. When you got that advantage like that, when you got such enormous advantage of size and strength, take advantage of it. Use that size. Nope. See nothing. All right, now put yourself in uh, Sheila Fox's place. What would you do, go for the leg dives? Yeah, I, I would try to get behind her and we'll work low. Like if you trip up on the ankles, then you bring the, the bring the mountain down, so to speak. But you don't try to, to tackle her. You don't try to strong arm her. It won't work. She's just got too much size and strength. Look at this. See that? She's she pulling the hair. Dropped it like nothing. She grabbed her cat like pink's hair and she just Grabbed her by the arm, by the side there, and brought her right up like like a, like nothing. She's using her strength this time. She's using her size and strength. And, and I mean, you know, how often you see a woman six foot four, two hundred almost forty pounds? That's a that's a big woman. And you know, she's she's pretty well put together. I remember once in uh, we put a new tower at Channel Eleven in Pittsburgh. And they hired a girl that was six four and called her Tower Power, and she went out on personal appearances. Her name, real name was Lynn Williams, and wow. boy, she was this tall, very attractive, and well-liked, and uh, outside of that, this is the second tallest person I've seen. Yeah, she's, look at this now. Sheila Fox comes on that top rope. Uh -oh. Now, what is she gonna oh, do? Oh, my. Now, if she comes down on her, it depends on how she comes down if she wants to take her down. She'll have to come up, let's see. Uh -huh. I was gonna say she'll have to come up on her head like a really knock her. Bal off balance, but uh, she just stepped out of the way and uh, she left off with a heck of a blow. Get down hard on that mat. Cadillac Pink in a drawing contest with one of the guys in the front row about 6'4". He says, do that to me. I don't know what she said, but she turned and strutted away. Here's the body smile. Well, she's, she's just using her size and her strength. In fact, after a slam like that, I could just imagine if this uh, Cadillac Pink 
did what we call a big splash on top of her. I think that there's no way that uh, Sheila could get out. There's too much weight, you know, especially if it comes down about five feet from the air if she leaps up. No, no, she's still, what is she going after? Back break. Yeah, there oh, yeah. Goes. Oh, forget it. That's the end. That's it. Forget Boy, it. I tell you, that backbreaker always. I remember when you used to use that, Bruno. Uh, I never had anyone escape it. Uh, but once applied, once applied properly, forget about it. Uh, that's a ring that bell before that. Uh, that's right. Oh, popped it like a sack of potatoes. Well, Sheila Fox went down, and the referee got to the count of three. Cadillac Pink, much better than the last time we saw her on Ladies Major League Wrestling. In complete control and, and didn't lose her cool in the match, which was very important. To make it official, here's our ring announcer, Dana Taylor. Oop. What's going on here? <laughs> yeah, I, I, this is shocking. After a backbreaker like that, she somehow... I finds, thought it was over. Well, it was over as far as the decision of the match. But I'm surprised that, uh, that uh, this uh, Sheila Fox was able to get up to her feet. Right. She cut Cadillac Pink off guard, right? caught it from behind. A little sneak attack. I don't know what's going on.